There's been an ongoing battle here in Duval and in Clay County as well. The ongoing debate about adding a half cent sales tax to the ballot in either county. We've learned that a judge has issued an order stating that the Clay County Commission does not have to place a sales cent, uh, to the tax referendum on a special election ballot, at least in any given time. And the commission has the discretion to select a specific date for that special election, whether it happens in November or in 2020. On your side is Troy Class here to break this all down for us. Very important when it comes to the tax dollars in schools. Hey, Troy. Thank you, Lou. Well, basically, this ruling means that the county commission can decide when, the, again, that vote is held. But the school board does have the authority to impose the tax. So we went through the judge's ruling and picked out some points about why he made this decision. So all along, the school board has been arguing that because they have the authority to impose a sales tax, they can choose when the vote is held. But the judge says that the commission has, again, the authority to decide when the vote is held. Now, the focus of the school board's argument has been that the governing body, the county commission, shall place the tax on a ballot. But the judge says that shall means mandatory, not discretionary. So that means that the commission must place it on a ballot and not ignore the school board's request or put it off. Last week, after a hearing on this issue, Commissioner Mike Sella told me that they wanted to push this sales tax to a vote next year because more people would participate in the vote. That's a big decision. That's over $400 million in taxes over 30 years. And I think as many people as possible should be able to vote on it. And that's the only thing we're asking for is to move it to uh, November 2020 when it's a general election. People know it's going to be an election. They can form an opinion. They can ask their questions and then they can vote on it. with Commissioner Mike Sella later today to get his reaction to this latest ruling. I'm also reaching out to the school board to see if they want to comment on this issue as well. We'll have the full story for you tonight on First Coast News at 5 and 6 o'clock. Live in Clay County, Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.